Here's an ARB compressor install for the 2017 Chevy Colorado. I used a 589 fabrication mount available at 589fab.com. Uh, this steel mount has um, pre-drilled holes for the compressor and for mounting it under your coolant reservoir for your radiator. It mounts on the passenger side and it doesn't come with any hardware but uh, you don't need any. Every All the hardware comes with the compressor. So the first thing you have to do is unscrew the two screws that hold on the reservoir. There's one on the, on the side and one towards the back. This is the direction that the mount's going to go into your truck with the four holes in the back and the L shapes up. So I just did a dry test fit here and you can see that the two screws that stick out that hold on the reservoir is where that's going to mount and it will just go right over those holes. Here I'm going to show you a little closer view so you can see kind of how close and how tight this thing fits. It's about a quarter of an inch away from the bottom, but it fits very snug and is very well uh, shaped to fit that area there. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is screw in your air intake filter on your compressor because once mounted, it's gonna be much more difficult to remove. And uh, in the video, I don't show it here, but you should get it a little, little tighter than I just did there but uh, go ahead and screw that in and get that all uh, tightened down. Now I'm going to use the mounting hardware that came with the compressor along with the gold plate you see on the bottom to mount it to the plate. I used bolts, washers, and uh, nylock nuts that came with the, with the air compressor again. And once it's bolted in there, you can see that it fits quite well. So here is the limit switch for the pressure cutoff and I purchased that bronze or brass air fitting there so I could do quick fittings for uh, relocating the air supply. So the Chevy Colorado has a uh, perfect spot to mount your air outlet but uh, you're gonna have to do some modifications. So I drilled a step drilled that hole slightly bigger there. And there you can see I drilled it out. So that's just big enough so the threads will fit through there. And now I didn't want it to rust. So I went ahead and I coated that bare metal using liquid rubber. Uh, this in particular is um, Placidit brand. Again, uh, the parts are available in the description, but that is a brass quarter inch by quarter inch coupler and another one of those air fittings. That way I could uh, remotely mount that. Now, something to know with this bracket, you're gonna have to pull really hard to get it to fit over that screw. It doesn't uh, just slide right on. Now, the first time I tried, I tried to mount the reservoir where you can see I put the bracket first and then the reservoir. That didn't work because it wouldn't quite fit. So what I ended up doing is on the side of the truck, I went on the reservoir on the outside of the holder, but towards the back, I put the holder on top of the reservoir and that got everything to fit nice and tight. And once I screwed everything down using the original screws, I connected the air hose between the two. Um, again, the part description is in the link. This whole process took about an hour. Overall, I was really happy with the installation. There's enough room left under the reservoir to support other things if I wanna mount it to it later. There's probably another two to three inches between the mounting bracket and the firewall. Feel free to check out the description. It's got links to everything that I used in this video. And don't forget to check out my other videos for other Chevy Colorado related mods.